Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be previewing the Stanley Cup Final Colorado Avalanche versus Tampa Bay Lightning matchup. Now we've been doing these series previews throughout the entire playoffs and it's all led up to this final two matchup between two juggernauts in the NHL. The team that's won the two Stanley Cups and is looking for their third and the team that's now getting there for the first time looking for their first of many. But when it comes to this Avs and Lightning matchup, who will be the team to win this series? How do both teams face off against each other and what should we expect going in to this Stanley Cup final. Watch till the end for the full preview and the full predictions and make sure you hit that subscribe button to the Sportsnet YouTube channel for the best sports coverage around. And without further ado, let's preview Avs versus Bolts. Now the first thing that strikes me with these two teams is the fact that in the Cup final this year we don't really have a true underdog. With Montreal in 2021, that was definitely the case. With the Gold Knights in 2018, even the Preds in 2017, there were clear underdogs for a lot of these cup finals but with this cup final you have the Avs and the Lightning two juggernaut teams and the two best teams in the entire National Hockey League it's going to be the best of the best and an all-out war in likely a seven game series too and when we line both of these teams up against each other they're so close when it comes to the lineups and what they might provide that in my opinion this series goes at least six games and likely goes seven as well and when we line up the forwards it's pretty close too with Tampa but even without Brandon Point, their forward lineup is still pretty interesting. You obviously that got that top six in that first line that's been so dynamic with Palat, Stamkos, and Kucherov. And without Point, there's definitely a big drop-off with Shirelli being that second-line center who's been great defensively, but not much on the offensive side of things. But you got that bottom six that's so hard to play against and is going to make the neutral zone, especially that four checks, just such a nuisance to play against if you're Colorado. And to me, even though without Point, it's a weaker lineup than Colorado's, at the same time, they've been there and they've done that. And especially that bottom six knows how to win in the playoffs. And I think they'll make life so difficult for the app. Meanwhile, for the Avalanche, even though they have Nazem Kadri injured and likely out for the series, unless he comes back later, maybe in Game 6 or Game 7, I think the Avs are still better on paper and likely will be better offensively in this series with Alina Scott McKinnon and Nachush can be in the first line right now. But you got so many other impact players like Alekinen, who's been fantastic in the big moments, Miko Ranson and Burakovsky. Comfort's been huge throughout this playoff run for the Avs. So many different guys that can contribute. And that bottom six isn't bad either. You still got great guys like Comfort, like Cogliano, like Helm that can really grind play out and it might not be as physical or as scary as Tampa's bottom six but it does still get the job done and especially on offense they'll be quite fine. But that's just the thing. Even if Tampa does get Braden Point back, I still give the edge forward-wise to the Colorado Avalanche. I think they're much more likely to be better offensively and really contribute in the high-danger areas. And at the same time, even though Tampa's lineup, and especially that bottom six, is more playoff-focused, I still think the Avs can carry their own weight, and they got a lot of players who have been so dynamic and so key in the playoff moments that for the Avs, I don't even worry too much about having less grit on that bottom six because they proved in the past that they can still get the job done. I give the forward advantage to the Avs and I see that top six being a main factor in this series. And when we look at both defenses, I do definitely give the edge to Tampa Bay with their systems and just the raw talent there, but I also don't think Colorado's defense should get underrated whatsoever. When it comes to Tampa, they got Hedman, Ruda, McDonough, Chernak, Sergachev, and Bogosia, with Bogosia being just really solid so far in the playoff run. For the Colorado Avalanche, their first pairing is Taves and Makar, both of them being absolutely amazing and consistent throughout this run as well. Jack Johnson and Josh Manson, and Eric Johnson and Bowen Byram. The thing Thing is, even though I do prefer Tampa's defense on paper and on the ice, at the same time, I think the Avs defense is going to be a big part of this series. You saw in that series versus Edmonton how well, especially as it went on, they were able to defend and shut down guys like Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. And even though I love me some Kucherov, I love me some Steven Stamkos, there's nobody on Tampa nearly that level. And to me, even though Tampa has some better depth than Edmonton for sure and has better scoring overall, I do think Colorado is still prepared to match match up to that top six and play solid defensively. But again, you look at the Jack Johnson being on that top four, there is a worry there that Tampa might be able to really expose that, but it hasn't really gone against them so far. But Tampa, if they're going to get it done, needs to make this defense just on their toes and tired by the end of games. Now, here's the thing. The four groups, I think, are pretty close, especially if Brandon points in the lineup. And when you factor in, is the cup final 
after all. The defenses, I, even though I do give the edge to Tampa, I still think Colorado is playing great as a group right now. It was a pretty underrated team defensively. But now we move on to the goaltending, and it is the biggest discrepancy among these two teams. You got Pavel Francouz and Darcy Kemper compared to Andre Vasilevsky. And as of right now, Kemper did say he was 100%, so I would say he's more likely to start game one. But no matter who Colorado puts out, Vasilevsky is way better on paper and is way better in the cup final especially. For the Avs, they're going to be facing the best goaltender in the world. And for Tampa, it's going to be a much different story. Now, for the sake of this video, let's just assume that Colorado is going to start Darcy Kemper and he'll be matching up against Andre Vasilevsky. I think Kemper is a better goaltender overall than Francois, but when you compare what Kemper has done in this year's playoffs to what Vasilevsky has done, it is night and day. And in, this, in my opinion, this is the biggest thing that might go in Tampa's favor, both for that four group and that goaltending matchup. But when we compare Vasilevsky and Kemper in the playoffs, it's a huge difference. For Kemper, this year in 10 games, he has an 897 save percentage. As for Andre Vasilevsky, in 17 games, has a 928. You compare as well the roads that both goaltenders have gone through with Kemper facing a Nashville offense, a St. Louis offense, and with Vasilevsky facing Toronto, Florida, and now the New York Rangers, who as an offensive unit were really dynamic. To me, Vasilevsky puts up the way better numbers, he's been way better in the clutch moments, is healthier, and he's also faced way better competition. You also compare the goal state of expected. Vasilevsky is third in among all NHL goalies, only behind Andrew and Shesterkin, and Darcy Kemper is last place with a minus 5.83. Not exactly ideal, and I can, again, not stress this enough, this is the biggest difference, and if Colorado loses this series, it will likely be because of the goaltending. Now, we've obviously gone through the four groups and the defense and matchups and the goaltending so far, but one thing needs to be said heading into this series, and that is the fact that the speed will be a huge difference. You compare Tampa and you compare Colorado, and it's night and day. The Avs are so much quicker, so much better, and so much more tenacious than any other team that Tampa Bay Lightning have played against. For Colorado, they're going to face a team they've never played before and a goaltender they never played before, but also for Tampa Bay, they're going to be facing an opponent and an offensive unit that is so much better than anything they've ever faced. And you consider as well, just Taves and McCarr by themselves, the amount of rush offense they're able to provide from the back end. Tampa has never really had to defend against anything like that up to that level, and I could see them having a pretty bad adjustment period there. To me, Colorado is the way faster team, and I think early in this series, that could be a huge factor. But that's just the thing. Do you go for the Colorado Avalanche, a team that is way faster, way better with possession, and likely is going to be keeping the puck and shooting way more than Tampa? Or do you pick a Tampa team that has the way better goaltending, way more consistent and clutch goaltending, as well as a grittier lineup and maybe more opportunistic scoring? It's going to be a big battle between the best teams in the NHL and pretty different teams at that in terms of their play style. To me, I see this series going seven games. I see it going the full day distance, but as for that seventh game, I see Colorado starting this series off well, eventually maybe getting back tied, Colorado maybe winning a game five, then Tampa winning game six, and in game seven for the Stanley Cup final, I see the Colorado Avalanche getting it done. To me, I see that speed being a main factor. I think Darcy Kemper might be better than we were all expecting in this series if he is healthy and ready to go. And I think that I think that defense will do a great job of keeping Tampa out of the slot and keeping them out of those high danger areas. To me, I see Colorado, even though you bet against Tampa and you bet against Tampa in a game seven, which doesn't exactly work out too often. To me, I think this Colorado team is built to go the distance. And hey, if Arturi Lekinen has another game winning goal in him, Game seven's not a bad time to reach that out and pull it ahead for the apps. But that's the thing. I think this series is going to be so close, and that's why it's going to be so fun. If you predict Tampa to win in seven games instead, I don't blame you because it's the Tampa Bay Lightning. Of course, of course they could be in that position and get the win done. But to me, I just think the Avs have that special sauce this season, and we're going to see them really capture that late in this series. But let me know in the comments down below again what your predictions are for this Avs and Lightning matchup. Who do you guys see winning? What do you guys see the final games being as well? And who do you see getting the Stanley Cup final winning goal as well. Let me know all your thoughts down below. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Get it all to the Avs fans, to Blinding fans, to all NHL fans you guys know online. Make sure you share it out there. Subscribe, hit that like button if you haven't already, and have a fantastic day. Drink some water, and I'll see you in the next one.
Goodbye.